Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Simp here. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And what I've got for you guys today on the YouTube channel is another insanely high kill gameplay. And in fact, this is also a world record gameplay. This is the new world's most kill solo guys. I know you guys have seen like three of these gameplays uploaded to my channel. But I've been grinding this chaos control mosh pit solo. I've been actually trying to get to 400 kills. Unfortunately, in this gameplay, some things went wrong towards the end. I'm not going to uh, spoil it or anything yet. But basically, David Vonderhart literally blessed the enemy team. I was in the spawns, and I was uh, spawn trapping them, basically getting as much kills as I could, racking it up. Like I said, I was about at 380. Then all of a sudden, I see a care package was being, being called in by the enemy team. And I thought, okay, well, what could this care package possibly be? Okay, the worst thing it could be is a gunship. You know, maybe it's going to be a UAV, a dart, maybe a, a hellstorm, a lightning, a drone squad, anything else. But this dude literally got a care package and called in a gunship. Somehow he got a gunship in the care package when I was just about to beat the record. I had my chopper up, I had my strike team on the ground, and they got taken out due to the fact that he got a, a care package gunship. Very, very, it makes me very, very sad because I wanted to get the world's first 400 plus kill solo because it's never been done ever in Call of Duty history. And honestly, I think this is the world's most killed solo in Call of Duty history as well, which is just you know, kind of mind-boggling to say. But I was six away from the 400-plus kill solo gameplay. I'm still going to be grinding, uh, hopping on until Tuesday and grinding out this Chaos Control mosh pit. So wish me luck on that. But I, I felt like this was the game. Everything was going well. We, we you know, managed to make the game last pretty long. Not everybody was uh, uh, was cooperating with the team. I was trying to like basically tell them to not cap in certain situations and when to defend, when not to defend, just to try to make the game go longer. That's what I do when I'm playing solo. I go into game chat and I, I try to convince them to listen to me. I try to make the game go longer. I'll tell them, alright, you make this game go longer, you're going to get more XP, you're going to get more kills, the whole nine. So just listen to me and thank God that did manage to happen in this gameplay. But like I said, just, just the fact that he got blessed with the gunship at the end uh, really killed the, the fact for the solo 400. And I also had to stop halfway through in the game and kind of like just stop playing i had to uh, actually click the record button on my ps4 because i want to be able to get the intro uh recorded so i didn't have to go back to theater mode which i should probably stop doing too because that also kind of uh hurt me uh from getting the or you know stopped me from getting the world's most kills solo i should have probably just not even stopped and, and hit the record button i should have just kept going and came back to theater mode if i had to but regardless it's still a 394 kill game solo so i hope you guys enjoy that it's the new record world's most kill solo in black ops 4 i'm still going to be trying to beat this trying to get a 400 kill game but i personally do not think that anyone will be beating this unless they just get extremely lucky and they're getting their streaks fast as they possibly can and their team makes the game last as long as possible because that's really what it comes down to in the chaos control especially when you're playing solo you can't really cooperate with your teammates at all Unless you have, uh, obviously, a mic, you can go to game chat, but if they're in party chat or if they're just not even listening to you, uh, bad things can happen and you can't get the most most amount of kills that you could if the game lasted longer. So This honestly went pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it went really well for it, to, for it to be the world's most kills solo, but just the fact that he got the gunship. If he wouldn't have got the gunship, it would be 400 plus solo. I'm still thinking about that. It's kind of eating me up. Regardless if I got the 400 or not though, you guys have been showing a tremendous amount of love and support, continued support on my videos, so I just want to say thank you. It helps me out a ton with growth on the YouTube channel. You guys just coming back day in and day out, members of the notification gang. I love every single one of you guys, seriously. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying these high kill gameplays. I'm going to keep pumping them out for you guys for this chaos control mosh pit. And then once this mosh pit ends, we'll start going for, you know, like, nuclears, nuked outs, and different series, different challenges that you guys can recommend down in the comment section below but right now i'm having a ton of fun going for records and just high kill gameplays in this chaos control mosh pit game mode it's more i'd say honestly my favorite game mode in call of duty history just because the spawns are so consistent i know where they're gonna be i don't have to worry about getting flanked or anything like that so i've been having a ton of fun in this as you guys can tell by the amount of gameplays that i've been uploading to the channel this is actually my fourth solo 300 plus i don't even know how many solo 200 plus that i have but i have a ton saved up to upload to the channel so yeah, I'm, I, I actually just got a gameplay earlier today on Firing Range, which actually ended 3-0. Sad, we don't want to, we never want to end 3-0 in, in control because that just means the game went by way too fast and you didn't get a lot of kills. But I still managed to get like 254 kills uh, in the 3-0 round and I still got, I got a nuclear with a Spitfire. I was just going off on Firing Range, you guys are going to see that in the near future. So yeah, like I said, just thank you so much for the continued love and support on the channel. It makes me very, very happy 
that you guys are enjoying these gameplays, enjoying these videos, because if you weren't, then it'd almost be pointless for me to, you know, keep grinding and keep uploading. It, it just enlightens my day when I when I get on and I look at the YouTube and I see all these comments and I see all the support that I'm getting. It really does motivate me to get on and keep grinding, and keep editing and uploading these videos for you guys. So thank you, every one of you guys that have subscribed to my channel, clicked on that notification bell. Real quickly before I get too off task, I want to talk about the gameplay real quick, talk about my class setup. It's a class setup that many of you may already know since you know I've been uploading these gameplays with the Maddox, but if you don't, I'll let you know when I'm running on my Maddox. For my Maddox, I'm using obviously as you guys can see the ELO site with quick draw, fast mags, and stock. An extremely overpowered class setup that I've learned uh, for pub stomping. Whatever you're looking to do, it's it's extremely overpowered. It, you can actually use this to compete against competitive players. I've used it in competitive matches before and if I'm playing against good players in public match. It's just all around a really, really good weapon. Being able to reload fast and you know also having the quick draw and stock on there. And I also threw on Gung Ho for my perk. I'll tell you my perks real quick. In this gameplay, I'm using Scavenger, Gung Ho, and Dead Silence. Gung Ho is like Dexterity from Black Ops 2. It helps you bring up your gun faster from the hip. It also kind of works kind of like a quick draw. I guess you could kind of think of it like that. So Gung Ho and Quick Draw 1 is almost like Quick Draw 2. And then you slap on the fast mags in the stock and you're ready to go with this thing. I'm telling you, it's all around great class setup to use. If you haven't tried it out already, I highly recommend you guys do. Just give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. I absolutely love this Maddox. If you didn't know already, it actually has a built-in grip on it. Uh, as you guys can see, there's like my hand, my top right hand, my left hand is always coming back to that grip. So you don't even have to worry about it. The recoil is very, very uh, minimal. Uh, you, as long as you can control it, you'll be fine. I promise you. This thing is like a laser. So definitely give this class setup a shot. It's actually been my favorite assault rifle in Black Ops 4 until this point. Another little disclaimer that I'm going to let you guys know about this gameplay is that we actually sadly went on to go ahead and lose this game. I, honestly guys, you guys are probably thinking, how do you drop 394 kills and you lose the game? Well, I'll let you guys know right now. I'm in party chat and I'm trying to convince them and let them know that we're going to win the game. Uh, don't cap out yet, we're just going to try to make the game last as long as possible because that's the only way that you can really get the solo 400 anyway. Is by you know just going completely off as I die one off streaks right there that was just absolutely insane. So yeah guys, basically what I'm trying to say is the reason why we did not pick up the W in this gameplay is because I was telling my team to not go to B. Let's just you know spawn trap them, make the game last as long as possible. Then when it gets down to like 30 seconds, then we'll cap out and you know we'll get the most kills possible. And that would have been a perfect plan if they wouldn't have got the gunship out of the care package. Once they got the gunship out of the care package, uh, we kept getting killed by it. We couldn't get to the zone couldn't really contest it and we ended up losing the game because of a gunship out of a care package which is just absolutely mind-boggling to me so I do want to say uh, sorry for not getting the W in this gameplay uh, I know it's kind of weird like I said 394 kills with no W but still it is a world record it's the world's most kills solo and in order to get these you know high kill gameplays like I said that's what you have to do you have to you know tell your teammates to stay off zones when to get on zones when to defend zone there's a lot that goes into these solo gameplays and sometimes things go wrong, like the gunship care package. But yeah, regardless of the fact that we went on to go lose this gameplay, this does now stand as the world's most killed solo in Black Ops 4. I'm like I said, it's, it's eating me up that he got that care package, that gunship. I, I literally was looking at the care package and I was thinking, should I run to the spawn and grab it? And I don't even think I would have got it if I didn't decide to do that because there's a bunch of people around. I probably would have got shot, but I should have probably ran and tried to grab the care package, and I would have got a gunship. Oh man. It's such it's it's eating me up right now that I did not get the solo 400 because of a gunship out of a care package. I was actually really heated in game to be honest with you. I couldn't I couldn't even believe it when he got that care package. Regardless though, I'm still happy that I managed to break the record again, and I got another high kill gameplay that I can upload to the YouTube channel for you guys. Hopefully, entertain you for about 20-15 minutes. That's my goal every single day. That's the reason why I upload to the YouTube channel. Is to just entertain people and try to build an audience, a fan base. And I hope you guys are enjoying these gameplays. I hope they are entertaining to you. Just very fast paced in the spawn, running around, putting in work with the Maddox and other other guns too. Like I said, I'm gonna have a Spitfire uh, gun coming out or Spitfire video rather coming out soon, where I got a nuclear 250 plus kills with the Spitfire. So you guys are gonna be seeing that very very soon. All right, now that I'm done talking about that for a second, let's transition into another topic. I actually want to ask you guys about some things. Uh, if you guys are following it or not. The NFL playoffs is what I want to talk about real quick, guys. I want to know if you guys are following them or not. There are actually two games going on very, very soon. Today, I'm doing this commentary right now at 2.40 p.m. Eastern time. But the Saints and the Rams play 
here in about 45 minutes, less than 45 minutes. Uh, you got Drew Brees taking on Jared Goff. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want the Saints to win, but I definitely think that the, the Rams are going to be uh, very hard to stop. You got, you know, Indomitian Sue. You got Aaron Donald, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and take the Rams over the Saints in that one. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Or actually, the game's already gonna be over when I upload this to the YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think that the Rams beat the Saints today. Although I want the Saints to win. And then there's another game going on later on tonight with the Patriots and the Chiefs. Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes. Uh, honestly, guys, I think that you know I don't think Brady's gonna win this game. I mean. With, if I'm going with my heart, I'm gonna say Chiefs. I'm gonna say Chiefs. But I just, I just think that you know, it, it isn't. His, I don't think it's Brady's year this year. I think the Chiefs have a, a very, very well put together squad. I know that the Patriots beat the Chiefs earlier on in the season, but I feel like you know, as the season goes on and as you progress through the season, the team gets a lot better. Uh, the bond gets a lot stronger. So I think the Chiefs are gonna edge it out and beat the Patriots tonight. So those are my two picks, guys. I'm gonna have the Rams beat the Saints and the Chiefs beat the Patriots. Uh, yeah, let me know if your favorite team is still in the playoffs, and let me know who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, who is getting to the Super Bowl. Let's start a little bit of comments down there below about that. I figured I'd just, you know, try to talk about something different in the game, uh, in this commentary, rather than the gameplay. I don't know how many of you guys follow UFC or boxing, but last night there were actually two very significant events going on for one, the UFC, and one for boxing. There was Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. That was the boxing event. Manny Pacquiao went on to beat Adrian Broner, and then after the fight, there was some, you know, some speculation that Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather could fight again. So that's pretty interesting. If any of you guys follow boxing? The other event that took place, I'm not sure if I even have any subscribers that even pay attention to it, but there was also a UFC Fight Night event in which uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone ended up getting the W, Henry Cejudo ended up catching the W. Uh, there was just a bunch of really entertaining fights on last night. So that's what I did uh, last night, Saturday night. I just spent uh, time with my family, just chilling, eating food, relaxing, and just watching the fights. If those last two commentary topics did not make it clear enough, I'm a huge sports fan. I absolutely love watching sports. I love participating in sports. So yeah, it's just another little thing that I can let you guys know about myself. I'm a huge sports fan. Personally, my favorite sports to watch are football, the NFL, college football. I don't really care. I love Michigan Wolverines. I love watching the NFL. And I also love watching mixed martial arts. Those are my two favorite sports. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are still watching until this point. What are your two favorite sports that you like to watch? I'm interested in knowing what you guys watch, what sports you guys are interested in, and basically what sports you guys love. Real quickly, I want to talk about something else before I forget about it. I want to let you guys know about my schedule because, you know, that's how you guys are going to be most aware of when I'm uploading and when I'm going live. Ears told me that Mondays and Fridays are days that particularly are not the best on YouTube. Basically saying that, you know, videos don't go out to sub boxes, they don't hit notifications. So they're just risky days to upload, basically. You're taking the chance of uploading that day and your video uh, could potentially bomb. It could potentially not do that well. So Mondays and Fridays are going to be iffy for me. It just basically depends on a day-to-day -day basis. If Monday's looking like it's good, I'm hearing from my other YouTube friends that notifications are being sent out and things of that nature, then sure, I'll go ahead and upload on Monday or Friday. But as of right now, my goal is to upload five, six days a week. And I also want to incorporate at least one stream a week onto the YouTube channel. So just to throw this in here so you guys do understand that, all my supporters, all my you know, very, very loyal supporters, if you guys want to you know, hit that notification bell if you haven't already, or just be aware of those dates, I'll be uploading, you know, like I said, five, six days a week, maybe not Monday, maybe not Friday, but every other day we'll have an upload. And on those Mondays and Fridays that I don't go uh, or don't upload a video, you could expect to see a stream. And also on Tuesdays, Tuesdays are just a good day for streams because that's typically a day when Call of Duty adds a new update into the game. So just be on the lookout for a bunch of content to come in the future, uh, the new, the near future. I'm going to have a bunch of awesome, exciting videos, videos for you guys. So thank you all for the tremendous amount of support that I've been getting as of recent. With all that being said though guys, I've actually been doing this commentary and editing for about an hour and a half now. So I'm going to begin to wrap up the commentary. I'm going to throw in some music for you guys to listen to until the end. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Insanity guys, 394 kills, world's most kills solo. Thank you guys so much for the tremendous amount of love and support that I've been getting on my last and my most recent uploads. Excuse me. It's very overwhelming. Thank you guys so much. And with all that being said guys, it's been your boy Simp. I'll see you in the next one. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. production.